In this video, we're going to learn how to delete a value that's stored at a specific index in an array using C. The first thing we'll do is define a preprocessor constant for the length of the array. We'll have here number define max capacity 100. Then we'll declare an array with this length. We'll have int array with the length max capacity. Now the array may not actually store this many values, but this is the maximum number of values that can be stored in the array. We'll declare another variable, int total, to keep track of the actual number of values stored in the array. We'll initialize it to zero. We'll also declare a variable, delete index, to store the index of the value to delete from the array. We'll prompt the user to enter in the number of values to be stored in the array. We'll then prompt the user for each of those values and we'll store them in the array in the order they're entered. So first we'll prompt the user with the text, enter total number of values to store, colon. Then we'll use scanf to store the value that the user enters into total. So we'll have here scanf, percent d, and then and total to store the value that the user enters into the total variable. Next, we'll prompt the user for total amount of values and we'll store each one of them in the array. We'll have a for loop here with a counter variable i that's going to go from zero up until total by one. And what we'll do is prompt the user to enter in the value to be stored in the array at the index i. We'll have here printf array open bracket percent d and then close bracket is equal to, and we'll output i. This way the user will be able to see that they're entering the value for the index 0, 1, 2, and so on, up until total. Then we'll use scanf to store the value that the user enters into that index of the array. So we'll have here scanf, percent d, and then and array at the index i to store the value that the user enters into the array at the index i. Next, we should output the values in the array to confirm they've been stored in the array correctly. So first we'll have printf and then a new line to add some space between the input and output. Then we'll have a loop that's going to go through and output each value in the array. We'll have here printf array is equal to followed by the for loop to output each value. We'll again have a counter variable int i that's going to go from zero up until total by one with each loop iteration. This time though, we're going to output the value in the array at the index i. We'll separate the values by spaces. So we'll have here printf percent d to output the value and then a space to separate the values. And then we'll output the value in the array at the index i. Finally, we'll output a couple new lines here after the array values have been output. So now we can save, compile, and run our program. And for the total number of values to store, I'll enter in six. Then for the values themselves, I'll enter in nine, eight, seven, six, five, and four. And we get the array with the values nine, eight, seven, six, five, and four. And you can see as we entered each value, it was clear which index in the array the value is going to be stored in. Next, we can prompt the user to enter in the index of the value that they want to delete from the array. So we'll have here printf and then enter value index to delete to prompt the user to enter in the index. Next, we'll use scanf to store the index that the user enters into the delete index variable. So we'll have scanf percent d and then and delete index. We'll also output a new line to separate the input here from the future output. Now to delete the value at the index delete index in the array, we're going to shift up all the values starting from the index delete index plus one by one. That's going to have the effect of deleting the value stored at the delete index. So it's going to look like this. If we have the array with the values nine, eight, seven, six, five, and four, 
and these values are at the indexes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And let's say we want to delete the value stored at the index 2. What we would do is shift up all the values at the index 3 onwards up by 1. So the value 6 stored at the index 3 would be shifted up 1 and stored at the index 2. This value 5 stored at the index 4 would be shifted up 1 and stored at the index 3. This value 4 stored at the index 5 would be shifted up 1 and stored at the index 4. Then we would also decrease total by 1 which means even though this last value here may technically remain in the array, we no longer consider it to be a value that the array is actually storing. Let's implement this now. We'll create a loop with a counter variable i, and this time i is going to start off at the delete index. We're going to have i increment by one up until total but this time I is starting off at the delete index. And what we're going to do is set the array at the index I to the value in the array at the index I plus one. This is going to cause the shift to occur because when I is two, it's going to set the array element at the index two to the value in the array at the index two plus one or three that would shift up the value from this index to this index. When i is incremented and i is now three, then we'll shift up the value in the array at the index four to the array index three. And this will proceed until we reach the total. Then finally, we'll decrement total by one to recognize that the array is storing one less value. After we've deleted this value from the array, let's output the values stored in the array again so we can see the difference. We'll just copy and paste this code here that outputs the values stored in the array. And we'll put it down here. So we can save, compile, and run our program. And again, for the total number of values to store, I'll enter in six. And again, I'll enter in nine, eight, seven, six, five, and four. And for the value index to delete, I'll enter in two. And we can see we get the array nine, eight, six, five, four. And the value at the index two has been deleted. So this is how we can delete a value stored at a specific index in an array using C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.